Ladies and gentlemen, Divine Soul Ground Night, Cosmological Concepts, people. But, 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 but before we get into any of these dis disastrous, universal catastrophes, apocalyptic activities, what they got to do, Mr. Wizard, before we get into any of these cosmological concepts? I gotta do it again. <laughs> that's what they gotta do. Ooh, that's what they gotta. That's what they Ooh. gotta do. I was not expecting that. I like that. I like that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, oh, it's you know what to do. Come on, first. Yeah, y'all you know it. It's chat. Loop up your lips. Don't be watching these videos with chapped lips. Birds, bees. Shout, come on, help my help our audience out. Come on now. All right. Affiliate links are down below in the description. Without any more distractions or disruptions, Mr. Wizard. You see the thumbnail, you see the title. Fans, audience, you see the thumbnail, you see the title. Mr. Wizard, who are you bringing to this divine soul crowd? I'm bringing in, I'm bringing in two characters from Joe. I'm bringing in two characters from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Mm. I'm bringing it back. <clears throat> oh, okay. All right. Two relatively mortal characters, but you'll see why I brought them in a little bit. Oh, boy. I'm bringing I'm bringing in I'm bringing in Giorno Giovanna and I'm bringing in President President Valentine. Mr. Rahim, who are you bringing to the who are you bringing to this battle? <laughs> I'm glad you asked. Mr. Wizard, <clears throat> fans, what if Siri fans? I'm bringing in two cosmological concepts, specifically great god and or goddess, might I add. First character, I'm bringing in a familiar, you know this, you know who this she is, Athena, or otherwise known as just Athena from the Greek goddess world of the Eternals mythology. Yes. My second character, cosmological concept that I'm fusing her with is Ares, also from the Greek mythological world, a Greek god. Let me say that again. <clears throat> I am fusing a Greek god with a Greek goddess. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Two gods taking on, you know, just, you know, again, you know, all right. Two gods versus a president and some random gangster from Italy. All right. This uh, seems like, this uh, seems like a fair, this uh, seems like a fair uh, fight. Uh, come See, on. This seems, this seems like a fair, this seems like a very, un, this seems like a very unfair fight. Yeah, it's very fair. It's very fair. The two gods, the two gods of war. You knew what the going So, Mr. Wizard, what you uh, what you bring to the table? I need table, you to describe what they can do. I'm gonna oh, need me. you to describe what they can do. I got I gotta pro I gotta process this. I have to process I have to process what I'm up against. Bro, you knew what you were coming into, bro. Like you knew exactly. I, I, have, I have to process this. <sighs> well, I guess I shall go first. Let me just start with the. Uh, I'm gonna start with Aries, bro. I'm going to get to Athena in a second. I'm going to start with Ares. So, Ares, ladies and gentlemen, from the Greek mythological world, possesses the powers of the Olympian gods. Mr. Wizard, you're familiar with the Olympian gods, the one that one of your characters apparently slayed. Yeah, then we're not going to talk about that. But he possesses the powers of the Olympian gods, which include superhuman strength, immortality, eternal youth, and shape-shifting as the god of war. Ares had exemplary, exemplary strategic skills, power of persuasion and combat ability. <sighs> let me keep going. Actually, let me stop there. I want to get to Athena. Basically, he is 
part of the Greek, he is considered a Greek deity, basically, a Greek deity. Athena is an Olympian goddess of wisdom and war and the adored patroness of the city of Athens, a virgin deity. She is paradoxical, um, associated with peace and handicrafts, especially with spinning and weaving, majestic and stern. She has surpassed everybody in both of her main domains. In fact, even Ares, the person I'm fusing her with, has feared her, and all Greek heroes ask her for help and advice. Like I said, both of my characters are, uh, in fact, deities, uh, which basically means they're pretty much immortal, um, and a lot of people fear them. Mr. Wizard, please. List out your powers and abilities. All right, all right. Like I said before, I'm just kind of bringing in two dudes. I'm just kind of bringing in, you know, t two average dudes. <sighs> Jorno. Jorno has the has the has a stand ability called Golden Experience, or go or Golden Wind, depending on your translation. Golden exp Golden Experience. <laughs> has the power of life giving anything organic that this, that that stand touches it gives life it turns into a live it turns into a living being <clears throat> so like anything well, anything organic around them touches the grass touches the grass or something it can turn into like piranhas or something touch the touch rocks around them it can turn into what it can turn into say you know you know like it can turn into a whole a bunch of wasps or something like it's just, it, it is ridiculous anything organic he can just artificially give life to just by touching it so like a vegetable anything anything organic like anything like anything anything that is made in nature so rocks? Yes, anything that anything that is nat anything that is natural, anything that is not artificial. Wait, wait, wait. So what's the limit? Like, can he turn a rock into like a dinosaur, or is it only like a tiger or something? Let me see what the. Uh, I'm trying to remember what I'm trying to remember specifically mm -hmm. what the limits were on this. But any all right, life giving anything that it all right. Uh, here it is. Anything that, or uh, frick. All right, here it is, life creation. Anything Giorno or Golden Experience touches that is abiotic will be will be able to become a life, will be able to come a life form of Giorno's choosing. Said organism's birth can be, can be present to have advantages, adv adva advantages an evolved organism would have. Immunity to viruses, et cetera, et cetera. Jorno commands any of these. Okay, so it can so it can turn into anything that he wants it to. What the heck? If he gives life to all right, he can all if he gives life if he gives life to an object inside a person, then he can even spawn animals inside of people. What the freak, man? Let me see. Life preservation. Anything that was created into a live that anything that was turned into a living organism once created will never be able to be harmed. Any attempts or any attempts to damage the thing, any any damage that is directed at the thing that is given life will be redirected at the attacker. Uh, does that mean you can affect me? Yeah, like say I turn the grass into like a bunch of sharks or something, and y'all attack the sharks. Those attacks are reflected right back at you. What is up with you choosing characters that literally that's, reciprocate this? What? That's not even the end of it. That's not even the end of it. I'm not even done describing it. He has an evolved form of his stand called Golden Experience Requiem. It has, the, it has the ability, it has the ability to basically eliminate, like, you know, like, you know, cause and effect. You know that, you know that, you know that paradox, like cause and effect. Mm -hmm. 
Golden Experience Requiem has the ability to take away cause. So it's, it's my brain is trying to. So it's just effect. It's just destruction. Nope, because because it takes away the cause, there is now no more effect. Like say you shit. Like say you throw a like say you hit him with a punch or something. Like you hit you hit Jor uh, Jorno with a punch. Mm -hmm. It can make it to where that punch doesn't happen. That punch never happened. Bro, why it am was I just fighting? all theoretical. Why am it I was just all theoretical. And it's not even the end of it. Why and it's I not even the end. Golden experience. You? All right, golden experience requiem. Can oh, all right shit. return to the ability called return to zero. Golden experience can take the eternity, the entirety of something, and revert it to a previous state. This includes any action that ta the target takes, and le and it leaves a golden experience requiem unaffected. This puts anything it affects in a constant loop of being put back to zero, depending on uh, depending on what he has targeted. If the target wishes, if he wishes to kill the target, they would end up in a constant death loop. Okay, I've. I've heard, I've heard enough. So I can see it. So I can, so I can trap you. So once again, once again, going back to an early episode of the What If series, I can trap you in a death loop. I can trap you in an infinite death loop. No. Does it even matter what your other character is? Like, I, I mean, I'm still going to state it. I mean, you know, I'm still going to state it. This is so stupid. President Funny Valentine. President Funny Valentine in his stand power, dirty deeds done dirt cheap, or D4C for short. <clears throat> Dimension hopping. So long as Valentine or D4C are between two objects, they can travel between parallel universes. Any objects such as flags, the ground, floors, floors, water of any amount, and streams can be used for this purpose. And as long as part of Valentine is between them, this, uh, this ability can be used, bringing his entire body along. Valentine can bring any object or people between universes, and when he returns, he can appear from anywhere, such as from opponent, fr such as from somebody's back. Paradoxing, when Valentine brings in an individual to another parallel universe all right if they were okay okay that's just if they meet somebody okay whatever user transfer if valentine takes severe injuries he can use d4c to travel to another dimension and transfer his stand and transfer his stand and memories to one of his alternate selves this so so you can literally have me on the verge of death i can say nope and just transfer to oh, another reality my I can literally, literally say no. You're literally the watcher. <laughs> you are literally the watcher fused with a with. I don't. Understand. I can literally say no to dying. I don't, I don't understand why you choose these characters for one that can reciprocate my attack, my attacks back to back to me, bro. Why? <clears throat> and one last thing, <laughs> D four C. All right, it's final. It's ultimate ability. D4C, Love Train, an evolved form of D4C granted, granted, to, granted to Mr. Valentine. This, this is... ability renders Valentine nearly invincible Man. as he is followed every as he is followed everywhere he goes by a shimmering wall of light, which he can use to glide across the ground as if he as if he were flat and walking in midair, avoiding obstacles in the process. Because it is dependent on the stand, Valentine must maintain a vertical distance. Okay, let's just, okay, he's able to fly, whatever. Here it is, misfortune redirection. Valentine's wall of light redirects all misfortune that gets in Valentine's way, leaving only good, for, good fortune deflecting it across the world for someone else to suffer the consequences. So he could literally just set, so you could be trying to stab him. So you could be trying to stab him or whatever, and he can just say no, and you're stab, and all of a sudden you're stabbing somebody else. I just got beat up, destroyed, died, 
took my soul, gave it, gave me back my soul, beat up again, took my soul again, and then <sighs> trapped you in an infinite. I trapped you in an infinite death loop where you're not even able to kill me because I'm able to either transfer my consciousness to another body or just say no and throw somebody else in front of me. I don't think Athena nor does Ares. Because if I'm being honest, I think Athena is stronger than Ares. Because Ares fears She her. is. So I'm really relying on Athena right now. And unfortunately... Like Athena, Ath Ath Athena is well. It's less that she's stronger than Ares, and more that she's smarter than Why Ares. Yeah, like she's, she's the god, like she's the goddess of like tactical war. Yeah, while Ares is just kind of. Meanwhile, Ares is just kind of the god of you know war. War itself. He's just kind of the whole bunch of armies throwing hands in the middle of a field. That kind of war. <laughs> Less the less tactics and more just meat and more just berserker. I don't, I don't know what to say. Like, there's nothing I can do. You're just gonna out. You're either gonna outmaneuver me or use my powers against me, um, or just say no to me, or just all together. So I don't think. Why do you do this? You bring these normal. You bring these normal people with these overpowered abilities. And I, I'm not I, nothing. I'm literally, you literally make a deity look weak. How is that possible, Mr. Wizard? How can you make a deity? How can you make a cosmological concept look weak? I don't understand that logic. It doesn't make sense to me. <sighs> it's my journey, Mr. Raheem. It's my journey. Like, the gods I, took everything away. The gods took everything away. So I'm out to prove that their job, that their jobs can be done by some random dude. <laughs> This is why anime is overpowered characters, bro. This is why anime sometimes scares me because this is Greek mythology. This crap isn't even real. Now, granted, nor is anime, but still, like, anime is from someone's head. Greek mythology was studied by scholars. You telling me from someone's crazy imagination, they can just destroy someone who put centuries into Greek mythology? infinite death loop That's i literally so just stupid. pulled i literally just pulled an uno reverse card literally. i pulled the get down mr president uno reverse card now you're in a loop that is i literally <laughs> Thorma thormamu i come to bargain on a loop for oh eternity gosh. i don't understand why okay okay well Ladies and gentlemen, I um, was not prepared. I did not think Olympian gods and goddesses could uh, lose to a president. Um, yep. Did not realize that. And who else was it? A, pre a president and some ra and some random gangster. Some random. Some random. <sighs> So let me a get this 16, straight. A sixteen-year-old gangster He's and 16? an old president. Oh yes. My. First of all. I lost to sticky notes. I lost to cut people. I've lost to a sword, a someone who could slice an ocean in half, which is not even possible because of what? Anyway, yeah. I've lost to now to a 16 year old president who can't even drive, probably. Oh, no, not the president. The president ain't 16. Okay, well, an old president that's on life support and a 16 year old who. A 16-year-old gangster who doesn't even know what it means to kill yet and can't even draw. This this fool can't even vote. I lost to someone who can't even vote for the president of the United. He can't even vote for the old president. You lost to it. You lost to a president with the foot with the constitution tattooed on his back and a gangster whose stand is named after a prince album. <laughs> I brought a Greek god and a goddess. I, this is not my fault, people. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not my fault. This is, I did everything I was supposed to do. I don't, 
I don't understand these. It, it, it doesn't hurt that I'm taking these L's. It hurts how I'm taking these L's specifically. The how is what's really bothering me, ladies and gentlemen. It's the fact that I'm losing badly by overpowered people who are just regular people. That's what that is all because that is all because in this reality, it's impossible for every person to be happy. In the shadows of happiness, there is cruelty. Such a true statement. Oh. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes this episode. Wow, was not expecting uh, that turn. I uh, I feel defeated and uh, hurt, but I'm also prepared now. I'm also prepared. I'm these divine soul grounds. I got it. I gotta have some up my sleeve. Now. I can't just expect to win by strength no more. No, 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 no. I gotta. It's not just about strength. This is about Mr. Wizard. I figured you out. See, you don't win by pure strength. You win by tactics. You win by specifically just lasting longer. That's how you win. You just last longer. I like that. I'm a sixty-minute man. You see, you see, you see, Mr. Rahim. You're a five-minute man. I'm a 60-minute man. Mm. I'm built to last. Okay. Well, I mean, sorry, this is PG-13. I'm sorry. <laughs> you should have never done You handed that to me, bro. Like, it was right there. Like, I really did. It was right there. Like, I was going to say, it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Listen, if you ain't got the stamina. You ain't got, if you ain't, listen, if you're not old enough to, if you ain't got the stamina, just know, you don't overcompensate, just understand you got limitations. That's all I got to say. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes this video, okay? I took this L, um, unfortunately. Um, a few links down below in the description. Check those out. I know you watched this video with chapped lips after I told you to chap up your lips, to lube them up. Loop up your lips, people. Blue Mike, thank you for letting Blue us use this. This is nice. I really like these. Thank you, Logitech and Blue Microphones. Appreciate you. Hoping to get featured possibly on a post. That would be nice. Mr. Wizard, winner, I should say. Take us out. Y'all know what y'all need to do. Y'all need to. Y'all know what y'all need to do. Go down in the comments. Tell us who else y'all want to see in the What If series. What else y'all want to see in the What If series? Go ahead and hit that like button. Put. Be sure to muda 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 that notification bell <laughs> and subscribe to the What If series. Help us out for. We here at the What If series have a dream. Hope you enjoyed the show. I like that. Don't get too attached. <laughs>